the Indominus box is here. Ninth edition starter box, the Indominus Crusade once again is here. Uh, I, once again is here? Apparently again it is here because this is the second time that I'm recording this because my new camera, which is super amazing and records in 4K as it, as it tells you, corrupted the data immediately. So the Indominus box is here again. So we're going to do this as though I just opened it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Indominus box. I put it on upside down and backwards. So this box set has a ton of stuff in it. It has the 9th edition core rule book in it. It has stickers. Everybody loves stickers. They're actually like, you know, things for the shoulder pads and whatever. It has the how to build stuff. It has Warhammer 40k stuff on the side of it. It has the new captain with the storm with the storm shield and power sword, and then his not as cool lieutenant buddy over here, and he's kind of lame. I don't really like him as much as him. He put an entire mini marine on his shield, so that's pretty cool. This dude is just rocking out with a dual disc, and I absolutely love it. This dude skipped leg day. He just look, look at this little dirty twigs. Look at this little dirty twigs. Anyway, we have a bunch of cool stuff. We have War of the Worlds in here. We have the Shadow Realm in here. We have spooky, scary robot skeleton zombies now. And then we have the Sisters of... Oh, wait a minute. Those are the Ultramarines. Courage and Honor, we stand with them. They are the Ultramarines. And they look fantastic. And I absolutely love them. So, let's rip this box open. I already took the plastic off because, as I said, I... As I said... This box is kind of packed. Okay, it kind of exploded. Now, that might be my excitement. That might be the Ultramarines' excitement. They might be ultra excited. But anyway, I do apologize about <laughs> Holy cow. So we got a brand new poster in here, and I actually do love these posters because I do get them framed and everything. This one's a little bit, a little bit beat, beaten up, mostly because I just beat the hell out of it. That was my bad. Oops, Daisy. But, let's dive into this. We have the Captain and the... I have no idea what this guy actually is. You know, that, that's my problem. I think he's like, he's a lord. I know he's an overlord, but it looks fantastic. Like, look at all of the detail and everything. Like, you get these rocks and everything. You get dead Necrons for the bases. You get multiple head options, which is really cool, and I absolutely love it. You get the backpack with the iron halo on it. The storm shield, which is gigantic, and I absolutely love the tower shield. It looks fantastic. There's a ton of detail on these marines and everything. So this is the look that we wanted for our Primaris marines, because a lot of people were complaining that the Primaris, Marine, Primaris marines, apparently, they are Melina now from Mortal Kombat, who is not in the current game, and that makes me sad. But anyway, the current marines, they didn't really have detail as much, and we wanted that. Now we got it. So there's the captain. Here's the bikes from Akira, straight out of the anime itself, the animated movie, which is phenomenal, by the way, and everybody should watch it. I definitely do kind of want to paint these bikes up to be the Akira bikes or the bikes from No More Heroes. They kind of look like Travis Touchdown's bikes, but, you know, is what it is. They also have chain swords, which I thought was really cool that all three of them have chain swords. So they're actually pretty good on the offense as well as um, just uh, objective grabbing and shooting. So I want to do an entire tactics video on just these guys. Next up we have, I'm just grabbing these things willy-nilly, so I do apologize. We have the big-ass dual disc scythe hammer axe things of the Necron warriors. Of the Necron, um, these are Triarch somethings or others. We will get the names in just a second, actually. I can probably just reach down and get the names really quickly. Oh my god, they look so beautiful. Look at the lieutenant. Yes. Look at all that shield detail. The Neo, uh, it, it's, the, it's the weapon that is a Volkite that is called a Neo Volkite pistol. That is what it's called. It again has the iron halo on here. We got all these details on here. Like there's so many freaking details, which looks amazing as you're assembling the model. When you're painting the model, you hate it. And then you got the Necron boy over here who, who skipped leg day. There he is, he skipped leg day. Okay, now we get the Assault, Centur Assault Centurions, that's what these are. These are not Assault Centurions, these are Assault Intercessors, Alexis, that is what they are called. Now, before you write your angry YouTube comment about me not being able to pronounce the Necron names, 
or being able to pronounce whatever the hell these things are. Shoosh your face, I'm trying my best, I'm really excited. So again, we have all these chain swords. These guys are gonna get like three, four attacks on the charge. This guy has a bionic arm, that shit's really cool. Again, another Neo Volkite pistol, which I really like. I think that's the Neo Volkite. So I don't think that's plasma. It kind of looks like a plasma pistol though. Oh, by the way, plasma pistols don't just overheat from you shooting them a few times. You have to switch them to your maximal settings. So shut your face. You're wrong about that. Just admit it. Okay. We got more for the Assault Intercessors. This actually looks like the exact same sheet, which is kind of disappointing to me. And yeah, it's the exact same sheet. A little bit disappointing because I hate mirrored... Um, uh, uh, I hate um, copy-paste marines, if that makes sense. But overall, I'm really excited with these, and it does look like they actually connect at the shoulder pads. So you can actually do some more customization with these. Not really the legs, unfortunately, unless you get in there and cut the leg apart at the knee. Uh, I should do a video on that, how to convert them. Ooh, we got the War of the Worlds guy right here. These guys are really cool. Also, I found out that these things are actually women, and I thought that was pretty cool. Like in the lore, there's one that's a woman, and I, I really thought that was cool. These would also make really, really, really ridiculously cool, like, tech priest conversions. Like, if you're building your Dark Heresy characters and everything, you can actually make some really cool stuff out of this. Uh, these, these just look insane. Look at all the detail on the damage on the legs itself. Like, these things have seen battle, and I absolutely love it. I love it. I love all the damage detail on them. They look fantastic. Wow, that is a lot of guns. Holy crap. I'm so glad that I still have my Necron Warrior kits not built so I can put these guns on them. So I'm going to do that with my older Necron kits to kind of fuse them two together. I also like that the scarabs are like this now instead of the one scarab that you have to put a little peg on and you put them on your base. I actually like these a lot better. They look way cooler. They, they actually look fantastic. Like all of these Necrons are absolutely look fantastic i love like the intestines falling out look of them they just i can't get over these they look absolutely terrific like can, and you get three necron scarabs like yes thank you okay if you guys don't know i actually do have a necron dynasty uh it's based off of uh Imotech the storm herds or storm herder um Imotech, uh his dynasty which is the Memphrin Dynasty, I believe, or I'm basing it off of the Mephrin Dynasty, which I really like because they have multiple destroy viruses and everything. These are the first company veterans. They look so good. There's the Executioner Blade. Oh my god, look at all that detail on it. Yes. Damn. I'm not a big fan of the banner. I like the banner itself. I don't like the guy that's wielding it. And we got the new chaplain over here. You can tell that this is his chaplain backpack because it has a whole bunch of party stickers on it because, you know, we're playing pin the tail on the chaplain. You know, you just have to every now and then. I do wish that you got different weapon options for these. I kind of wanted Thunder Hammer Storm Shield. And then you have the Melter Rifles, which everybody right now is saying that they're broken and I want people to take a look at the Sister of Battle Codex just so that they can freak out. You guys would go nuts if you saw that. The inf these rifles, so they're really cool. They're just assault and multi melters. Wait, did they give us two of these? Hey, is one less damage than the other one? No, not really. Damn it. Kind of wish they put a little bit of cardboard on these, just so I could save one. So again, we have more Necron bits, which also means that we have more scarabs. We have three more scarab bases, so that's six scarabs that they give you. So in total, I'll have like 20 scarab bases. Which is kind of cool. And now we get into the real meat and potatoes of this. And if you know anything about potatoes, you boil them, mash them, stick them in some stew. And if you know where that is from, comment in the comment section down below. You get the Indominus Crusade by Gav Thorpe. His earlier work was really good. His newer work is, eh, it's okay. This guy looks like he told the funniest joke in the freaking world. Like, this is the ultimate dad joke that he is telling. Like, he's telling the guests and he's just like, dude, really? Really? Come on, dad. Stop it. He's like, I am hilarious. <laughs> like, that is, yes. I got it. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. 
okay? I do apologize if you guys can hear the wash in the background. Dirty clothes require washing. So is this actually going to give us a Warzone Pariah? Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> this dude just reminds me of Ed from Ed, Ed, Nettie. <laughs> <laughs> just the long chin and everything just dude that's ed i'm sorry all of these guys waiting for the bathroom so that's what i always see when i see these images okay then we have some more necron lore the new necron lore which now goes into detail on what everything is scroptic lord how how do you actually pronounce that Right? Beats me. Yeah. Like, I don't know what letter they're supposed to have that's supposed to be silent. Could be all of them. <laughs> it is just all of them. All of the letters are silent. Yo, these guys just wrote in from 5Ds, and these guys are just going to show them up with the original Yu-Gi-Oh! rules. Like, this dude's so badass, he brought two, two dual discs to this fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So good. So good. This book is actually pretty big. And then it goes into detail on everything that we have. The Primaris Chaplain, which is four power level, five power, four power, four power for the Justicar. The Justicar does have the ability to kill freaking space marines. What is it? What is it? At the start of each fight phase, select one enemy unit within six inches of this model. Uh, that unit cannot fight until... All other eligible units have already done so this phase. So it looks like they actually got rid of his, um... Does he actually just kill baby marines? Yeah, they kind of got rid of it. Huh. Execution of Great Blade is strength 7, AP minus 3, 2 damage. That's pretty good. Uh, the Primaris Lieutenant over here with the neo Volkite gun. 15-inch, uh, pistol 2, strength 5, no AP, damage 2, which is pretty decent. Primaris Captain, he has the Mastercrafted Power Sword, Heavy Bolt Pistol, Frag Crack Grenade, and he has a Relic Shield, which gives him a... Huh, that's interesting. Each time the uh, bearer suffers a Mortal Wound, roll a d6. On a 4+, that Mortal Wound is ignored. Improve the bearer's save characteristic by 1. So it's actually not a Storm Shield, so he just has a 4+, and Vulnerable save. That is actually big. That's a huge nerf. I actually thought that was a storm shield. Does he have the same thing? No, because he has a storm shield, but the storm shield is now four up and vulnerable save. Holy crap. That is huge. Storm shields have always been a three up save since third edition. That is massive. Then they get the Primaris Chaplain. He's got his litanies. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, just looks like the normal dude guy. Probably missing something really important. Then we got the Blade Guard Van Blade Guard Veteran Squad. This is a uh, first company Marines. Then we got the Blade Guard Ancient again, first company. We have the Assault Intercessor Squad, which is I believe like um, they're not tactical. They're just oh no, they are tactical. That's funny. Huh. I didn't think they would be troop. That's interesting. Then we get the fast attack, the outrider squad. Or is that elite? No, because that's elite. They're troops. Neat. I am so happy with that. Radicator squad. These guys are heavy support. Then we go into the overlord, the royal wardens, which I actually like. The plasmancer. Okay. The script tech lord. I'm going to get these names right. The Script Tech Destroyer, who looks like he's about to backhand you with his dual disc. The Cryothoric... This guy. How would you pronounce that name? I'm the worst at that. Right? Yeah. Crytopic Whirls... Is it Cryptothralls? Yeah, Cryptothralls, right? Cryptothralls? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you got the Script Tech Reanimator. Which actually looks like that thing from uh, Parasite Eve. The wolf from the second game. Never played it. Oh, 
You need to play. Mm. Okay. Then we get Necron Warriors. He looks really disappointed in himself. Like, oh man, I missed reanimation day. Then that's it for that. Now, I thought that would actually go into more... This probably goes into more detail, and I'll, I'll probably read that later. Then we got the How to Build Guide, which I actually do love the new ones because they do show you how to actually build these damn things. And I will be doing a build of each and every single one of these on the channel. And, oh my god, it's an actual giant rule book. I, I was expecting something small. It It's... It's an actual rule book. Wow. I was not expecting that. Well, this is interesting. So I'm probably the only person that has ever noticed this. But, okay, we need to come down for this. The Emperor has skin. This is important because, uh, let me grab last edition's book. Uh, let me grab third editions really quickly to compare that image. Okay. So if we compare that image, it's actually the third edition image. I knew I recognized that picture. But what's weird is in later editions, which this is third edition, so we're going to go to uh, fifth edition. So let's go on over to fifth edition. Okay, because they always keep these images right in the front. He's more rotted. Big difference. I'm sorry, I'm probably the only person who is going to notice this. I am probably the only person that is nerdy enough to recognize that the Emperor has used the picture from 3rd edition and not 7th edition or 8th edition where he's more and more rotted. Let's go ahead and move this over. Put this down real quick. Let's start going through this. Wow, that is a huge table of contents. They finally brought back the table of contents. Yay! So, let's see what we got. We got Dark Imperium. We got the Saga Imperialis. We got the Warriors of the Emperor. The Lost and the Damned. Xenos Invaders. And the Rules. Wow, they really did actually break them down into three sections. I, I guess they, they really did do that. Uh, destruction, uh, Order, Chaos, I think of what? No, it's Order, Chaos, Destruction from uh, Age of Sigmar. So let's see what they got for Xenos. The Xenos Threat, Craft World Eldar, Dukari, Harlequins, Yunari, Warzone, Levarna? Cool. Necrons, Orcs, Tau Empire. Warzone 5th Sphere Expansion, they put that into the book. Tyranids, uh, they only get a page. Uh, Gene Seal Cold and Xenos Showcase. And then for the Lost and the Damned, we have Forces of Chaos, Heretic Astartes, Black Legion, Traitor Legions, Renegades, Warzone Vigilus, Death Guard Thousand Sons, uh, Chaos Demons, Chaos Knights, Warzone Scourge Stars, and Chaos Showcase. So let's see what else they got in here. We got the rules, so we go over the basic rules and everything. So we have data sheets, battle rounds, command phase, morale phase, moving units, reinforcements, transports, aircraft, psychic powers, shooting pa shooting phase, psychic phase, shooting phase, ranged attack, we ranged weapon types, making attacks, charge, uh, heroic interventions, fight phase, morale phase, morale test, morale unit coherency checks, which I think needed to be a thing for a while. Uh, missions, building an army. Uh, power rating and points should be points and power rating because power rating is stupid. Battleforged armies, command points, factions, army factions, detachments, battleforged army roster, stratagems, strategic reserves, actions, terrain features, terrain traits, uh, common terrain features, example battlefields, really useful. Open play, absolutely no one does that. Matched play, the thing that everybody does. Narrative play, the thing that a lot of people do. Okay? So, ooh, wow, look at all the different missions we have now. I love this. This is actually really cool. Okay, so. Let's take a look at this. Has uh, this, uh... Wow, what the hell is that thing? 
Whoa. Okay, sorry. I am noticing new stuff right off the bat. So I recognize this image. I recognize this battlefield, actually. So this is extremely reminiscent of the older Apocalypse books, which I do have the older ones. In fact, you can actually see them over here. I do apologize. I'm still unpacking and getting everything ready. So you can see all my books and everything over here. You can see that I have every single codex. Um, but where is that one Apocalypse book? There it is. First Apocalypse book. There's a battle in here that reminds me of this. So let's go ahead and open this up. Not this one. It's the actual miniature one. Oh, I love those images. I wish you could still get this Warhound. Anyway. Got the mini marines, got the armies going out and everything. But there's a certain battlefield in here. Alright, we'll find it later. It's not important right now. But there's a certain battlefield that looks just like this. Now, we have a lot of cool things on here. Right off the bat, we have all of the new Astartes. We have Gilliman facing down Abaddon right in the middle, although I do wish they shifted that over a little bit. With the Assault Centurions, we have... This is just a battle here, too. I'm glad that they're taking a more front and center approach. Uh, we have this thing. I have no idea what that is. That's a Whirlwind Missile Pod on top of it, though. But that, that's really cool, because it, it has some type of weapon system on the side of it. So I'm really happy with that. There's the go-kart. The Space Marine Tumbler. Uh, let's see, what else do we have over here? We don't have any new Guardsmen yet, because GW hates Guardsmen. That isn't actually true, but, you know. Alright, let's take a look. Take a look. Collecting. We know how to collect. In fact, I have an entire series on how to collect. Look at this. You can watch an entire YouTube video on your laptop that is somehow undamaged while you have all these paints next to you. I know who exactly who built that chain sword. They're a good friend of mine. Do, 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 do. Gaming. Look at this girl pointing over here. This guy arguing with some rules. Okay. Let's actually take a look. This person looks like he has to use the bathroom really badly. Then we have all of the... Now, this is kind of cool because you barely see these guys in anything but the art that's like this. These are actually the uh, serfs that work alongside the Space Marines. Now, the serfs that work alongside Space Marines take up several different roles. One is they are armorers, like these ones, who take care of the Space Marines' armor, clean it, polish it, and rebuild it in case it's needed. Then you have the preachers, the ones that take care of the Space Marines' health in this case, although these are blood angels, so you have to forgive it. there's a slight difference. And then you have the warriors, which actually fight alongside the Space Marines. And you even have these servants that uh, go down with the Space Marines to rearm them. So yeah. Oh, we have the fold-out thingy! I love the fold-out thingy! They're so stupid! I love them. Oh, that looks so sick. I love it. So we got all the new war, war zones and everything, and a lot of these are actually in the um, uh, the Psychic Awakening books. So I think this is really cool. War zone ball. Ball is, is perfectly fine. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, that's so cool. We actually get to see all of the servants and everything. Sorry, I'm a huge fan. Inquisition, always cool. That is, uh, that, that right there is horrifying. That is gonna haunt my nightmares forever. That guy clearly thinks it's hilarious. That is gonna haunt my nightmares. Oh, I'm gonna do a full review of this book. I'm, I'm kinda doing it right now, cause I'm just kinda going through it, and I, I just wanna look. Like, that's what we're doing. Master of Mankind, look at this. They actually have all new art and everything in here. Imperial Nihilus, nice. Fighting Dukari. That's really cool. Emperor of Mankind. Huh. They probably have new lore on him. Also, I do apologize about my nails not being done. Um, everything is back locked down here in Arizona, so yeah. That's always fun. Rules. Rule of the Imperium. I don't know. I want to look at these. Angels of Death. The Warriors of Faith. Wow, they actually put sisters on the freaking second page next to the Space Marines. That is a huge honor. At least it's a step up. I am okay with this. Then the Inquisition. Holy crap, they're actually caring about the Inquisition. Odo Hereticus, Odo Malleus, and Odo Xenos. Then they have all the various factions. Uh, Perils Unknown. 
And then we have this picture, which I think is really, really, really cool because there's so many cool things here. Like, who the hell is this dreadnought looking dude? Oh, these are so cool. The mushroom with four guns because yes. Oh, I love these space hulks they talk about. The enemy within. Oh, this is so cool because these are heretics and everything and mutants. Oh, that is so badass. They have so much cool artwork here. The dark gods. Ooh, new artwork for all of the chaos gods. Hell yes. So we got Korn, Zine, Schnurgle, and Slanesh. Oh my god, that looks so cool. And they're like tarot cards. All right, so did they actually change Slanesh? I need to read this. This is dark. No. Oh, they do refer to him as his. That's interesting, because they refer to him as the Dark Prince. Nice. Okay, okay, I like. Uh, Slanesh has like the least, actually they're all pretty similar. They're all pretty similar. Hey, I recognize this artwork. There it is. <laughs> I'm probably the only person that knows where all of these artworks are from. The Ages of Mankind, we have the Age of Technology, the Age of Terra, the Age of Darkness, the Age of Strife. Oh, these look so cool. Look at all this lore, though. This is so badass. Chaos, please go. No. <laughs> Sorry. Look at all this. All right, let's try to... Hey, I recognize this art, too. Oh, such a cool picture of Celestine. I absolutely love this picture so much. Because this is from Cadia. This is so good. Yep, Gathering Storm. That's Cadia. I knew I recognized that artwork. Devastation of Ball. And let's keep going. Age of Witches. The Crusade Indominus with all the new artwork and everything. Love it. Warriors of the Imperium. Armies of the Imperium. The Adeptus Astartes and all their different flavors. They're like Skittles at this point. The Death... Holy cow, Death Watch are actually mentioned. This will make John happy. We have the Grey Knights. We have the Adeptus Sororitas. So that's the Ordo Xenos, Ordo Malleus, and Ordo Hereticus. Warzone Pariah. Nice. Oh, they made him look so slim. I like that. Allegia, the Adeptus Custodians. Uh, the Golden Legion. Nice. This is from 4th edition. This is the Guard Codex uh, front of it. And this is the only art of a dropship that we have in the game so far. Okay. It's a really old artwork as well. This is newer artwork. This actually comes from Wrath and Glory. Again, I'm probably the only person that knows these things. Ooh, you guess a little divider. Questorus Imperialis. Nice. Hey, it's a uh, Drake. Sisters of Silence, the Officio Assassinorum, rogue traitors actually being mentioned as Imperial agents. Heck yeah. Hey, there's that thingy. What the heck is that thingy? Oh. What the hell is that thing? That's, that's really cool. Necrons are getting new terrain features, apparently. Like, we knew about this, but now we actually have a size comparison of it. This thing's really cool. I can't wait to get my hands on something like that. Let's take a look and see if we have anything else that's secretly hidden in these things of art. Also, one really quick note. This is how you can tell if uh, Marines are being continued or not. Because, like, in the background, we see the Land Raiders, so we know, we know they're not getting rid of Land Raiders. We know they're not getting rid of Terminators anytime soon. In this, we can see the Mini Marines on the bikes, so we know they're not getting rid of them. And, but everything else is Primaris Marines for the most part. We have land speeders in the background. We have Samael right there. We have, um, Lazarus right there. So, pretty cool. We got another Land Raider in there. So much Deathwing. I love it. We got some Ultramarines over here. We got some, the, 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 the freaking Banana Marines. Can't stand Banana Marines. 
Blood Angels. Oh, they look so cool. Look at all these guys. I am so happy with that. I am so happy with that. The Sisters of Battle, looking fantastic. They didn't put Samuel L. Jackson in there. Sorry, I'm just going through all of this. I do apologize. This is amazing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Why do they hide him in the crease? Stop doing that. Again, they barely show any actual, like, older uh, models in here. Although you can see the older models and what they're being used for. Wait for it. If this will focus. If this will focus. There they are. There's the old uh, Captain models. You're welcome. They use them as statues. I actually really like that idea. So here's all the guard. Um, guard aren't getting anything new, apparently, because we don't see anything new for them. I was kind of hoping for some new Cadians. That would have been nice. All right, we got all the new Mechanicus in here. We got their flyer, their bats, and that's pretty much it out of there. Over here, we have Belsari's Call and all of the older things that we have, which is kind of neat. Then we have their new tanks and new transport, as well as the Datalogus, I think his name is. Some more knights, first in Chaos Knights, which I really like. I forget where this art is from. I know where this art is from, but I forget where it's from. I know it's from the Gathering Storm series, but I forget which book. Look at all these chaos dudes. Okay, we gotta skip ahead. Oh, that is so cool. Sorry, I, I am getting blown away by all the cool artwork and everything in here. Let's actually get to some rules. Okay. Oh, but there's there's so much cool stuff in here. They got the Tau in here. I love the Tau. The Gene Stealer Cult, the Gene Team. Oh, and finally we have the rules. Okay, and you know what? You know what? We're gonna do this in a separate video because I'm a jerk and I'm going to maximize the amount of content I can get out of this. So yeah, stick around for that. Okay, I'll go over some of it. Mission Army data sheet units. Wow, look how clear it's written. Measuring distance. Wow, they have everything written out so well. All right, so I am actually going to go over the rules in a different book, uh, in a different, uh, in a different video. So I want to thank everybody for joining me for this video. We have a lot of stuff to paint up and a lot of stuff to go through. So I'm super excited about all of this. And there's still more in here. Like, okay, there's just, uh, there's just that stuff. But still, that is a ton of stuff in this box set. So I will be going over the rules. If I get a second uh, box of this, I will be giving away one of these rule books. So I'll let you know about that. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to comment. Tell me what your favorite thing about this box set is. My favorite is the freaking, oh, those, those, new, those new bodyguard units. I love them. Anyway, guys, as always, I'm Norn Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.